All right, we got my young baby daughter, my baby girl here, Rayla. And she got this writing assignment. I was having to read it to me. And it is awesome. I didn't think that she created this on her own. And I said, I have to record this piece of great creative writing. It may get turned into a movie one day or something, <laughs> or a book. All right, go ahead and read it. Okay. The Magical Tale of a Puppy Pegasus Corn. Once, a long time ago, when your great-grandparents were little kids, there was an instinct animal that would go by the name of a puppy pegasus corn. People thought it was gone for years, until crash, bang, sh shatter, clash, boom. I woke up to weird sounds, which seemed like they were coming from my window. So I scrambled out of bed, thinking it was my dad screaming for me to wake up for school. But when I realized that there was no school because it was a weekend, I checked out my window because that was where the noise was coming from. So I peeked out of my window and saw a weird looking animal there rubbing its head. So I opened the window and let it and let it and let it in. It immediately said, Hi, I am Cotton Candy, a puppy pegasus corn. What you are? You wait, you are a puppy pegasus corn. Purple fur, pink mane, and pink tail fluff at the tip of your tail. Unicorn horn horn? dog ears, pegasus wings, hoofs, and, a, and pink eyes. You are a puppy pegasus corn, I replied. Hi, I am Rayla, Rayla, Rayla Owens. I am human. She slowly backed away. Don't worry, I don't hurt, I won't hurt. Anyways, I don't eat meat, I am vegetarian. Then my, co my dog named Coco came running, busting down my door with his favorite taco chew toy. He was happy with it because he had just reunited with it after forgetting it outside in our backyard when he went to go out to, when he went to go out to go to the bathroom because when you gotta go you gotta go so he went with his taco toy but he recent but he recently went out but he recently found it when he went out to use the bathroom again so he was playing with it and guess who was Guess who was following behind him? My brother. Da na na. He was smiling. I knew what he's, he was about to say. So then, I knew what he was about to say. As he, as he was, as he was walking in, not even noticing the puppy Pegasus corn that was sitting right next to me on my bed, he he blurted out, and I mockingly copied him. I have a funny video to show you. He said, hey, I said that. I replied, that's why I said it. He grinned and froze, not noticing who or what was sitting next to me and said, who is, the, who is that? She is a friend of mine. You mean a puppy Pegasus corn? He said, I replied, yep. But what did you want to show me? I said, he showed me a meme of something that he that he found funny when we heard a banging noise then pot we ran back to my room and saw both of them splat on the floor we both said are you guys okay before we could say anything my mom shouted breakfast is ready we ran downstairs to two plates of fruit and one bowl that had blueprints and a good amount of kibble Next to the kibble bowl was the same print, and but had water. Me and Reggie gobbled up our fruit, and Coco stuffed his mouth with, with kibble, but did not chew the ki the dog food. Me and my brother were confused as we marched upstairs, and then returned with cotton candy, and Coco spat the food that he did not chew on the carpet in my room. I pouted, "Hey, you're cleaning that up." You know, he gave the food to Cotton Candy. She slowly, she slowly chowed down on it with a weird look on her face. We were going to my dad's house because we were going to my dad's house because the day after that was a school day. We packed our school supplies, such as our folders, Chromebooks, and our empty lunch boxes. We said bye to our mom and gave her a big hug and waved bye. We, ho we hopped 
We hopped in our dad's car and snuck cocoa and cotton candy into into in to dad's car. Coco is our mom and our and our dog. Dad's and but not dad's dog. So we don't take so we don't really take him to our dad's house. To our dad's house. Wait. So we don't take him to our dad's house. And our dad does not know who cutting candy is. Is so as we blocked Coco and cotton candy. So Coco and Cotton Candy were crouching, cou crouching behind us as we managed to sneak them both in. I brought her to school the next day. She helped me with my multiplication and division. Then for recess, we played. Then a note magically twinkled into dust, but friend formed into a riddle that said, Places you have been, not you, but your friend. The cold is warm, but warmer is in the summer. Places, the place with water, it starts with an H. We, what we all said with, com, with confused looks on our face. Then I said, wait, I know. I, I know, it's the Hollywood Beach in Florida. In Florida, Florida, Hollywood starts with the H. In Florida, the winters are humid, and me and Reggie went there before. Coco replied, Coco replied, how will we go there, though? My mom had picked us up from the bus stop instead. We are going to Florida. Problem solved, Reggie said. We packed toys, and I got my American Girl doll case and snuck her through security by taking her out of out, telling her to crawl under and meet me on the other side. Then I tucked her back in the case. We got in, we got on the airplane. It was a long flight, so cotton candy and cocoa stole snacks from the flight attendants. When the airplane gave warnings, it was getting ready for land off. I zipped her back in and we exited it, it and we exited it was morning when we arrived so we went to our cousin's house and the next day we went to florida hollywood beach we heard an instinct an instinct voice then we looked up and saw a big group a big group of them one of them a big group of of pegasus of of puppy pegasus corns one of them came down, and Cotton Candy said, Mom, they hugged, and the whole family came down and offered us to come by, to come and have some dinner with them. We flew up to the sky, to the sky house, made out of different candies. Some, uh, and we, oh, and we had some of their y yummy strawberry cup, pan cupcake pancakes. Boy, they were good. Then at sunset, they flew us down, and we all splashed in the water and ended the day with some water fun. Dang! And you created this on your own? <laughs> all by myself. Dang. And you said land off. You got to change that because it's supposed to be landing. Oh, okay. And then you put instinct. I think you meant distinctive. Dang! You wrote that? Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Give me five. <laughs> she did this on her own, man. Dang, keep doing your do, Ray. You make you some money writing stuff like that. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. I got to share that. I got to highlight that. And y'all parents out there, highlight your goddamn kids' talents. That's all I got. Peace.